Now, seasoned city lawyer Jane Nyamuringa Ruego Njunguna today launched a tell-all memoir that narrates her story of coming from humble beginnings to rising through the ranks of the legal profession in Kenya. Now, the book titled The Epic Musings of a Farmer's Daughter recounts Jane's village life at a young age and growing up without certain luxuries and amenities and even encountering a leopard that frequent the area. Well, Jane credits a professional group that she is part of, dubbed MV90, for encouraging her to write the book. Formed in 2017, MV90 boasts a number of prominent members, including Supreme Court Judge Isaac Lenaola, uh, Investments, Trade and Industry Cabinet Secretary Rebecca uh, Miano, both of whom were present during the book launch. Grace's uh, story someone uh, coming from poverty, even hunger, starvation, to become an advocate, to become the person I am today, I thank God. Finally, congratulations, Jane, and your family for, for finishing the book. I myself have been writing one for the last five years, and I haven't even done five pages. I wonder whether I'll be able to finish it, but I'll keep on trying. I know it's a tough call to do a book. I was very lucky to look at the book, uh, this book, uh, uh, Musings of a Farmer's Daughter, as a manuscript. And so I read the whole of it, made some uh, comments which Jane heartfully received, and I also did the forward uh, to the book, so I'm lucky that I got the opportunity to read it before. So my little speech is picked out of the forward which I did for the book, because I thought it's apt and proper that I should say what I said there, now, in your presence. And so this is what I wrote in the forward. This book is a heartfelt memoir that takes us on a remarkable journey through the life of Jane Yamuringa Reiko Njoguna. In this captivating book, Jane shares her extraordinary story, one that begins the simplicity of her childhood in a quaint village and leads us, leads us to accomplishments as a lawyer, wife, mother, and grandmother, and I felt a kewaru seeing grandchildren here, I don't have any. I had double motivation to accept this invitation. One is to honor the achievement by my classmates, Jane. The other one is to reconnect with a team, MV90, that we share so much cherished memories and also a history. And so I wanted double, double benefits. 